Good morning and welcome. I'm Michael Jackson, Head of the Department of Law and responsible for admissions at this time of the year. In my talk, I'm going to cover three key questions. First, why study law at Hong Kong U? Secondly, what programs does Hong Kong U law offer and which program should you apply for? And thirdly, what are the key admission requirements to our programs? Some of my colleagues will then talk a little bit more about our joint degree programs and we will leave some time at the end for questions and answers. So my first question, why study law at Hong Kong U? Well, if you're thinking about studying law, we believe we offer a range of exceptional programs. Our programs will equip you with knowledge, skills, ethical standards, creativity, and a sense of social responsibility. These will stand you in good stead in the future, whatever path you eventually choose to take. If your present ambition is to enter the legal profession in Hong Kong, our programs will fully educate you and prepare you for entry to the profession. Next year, our faculty will celebrate its 55th anniversary. We take great pride in what we have achieved for over a half century. We believe we can offer you a sense of inclusion in our history and connection to a legal community made up of many of our graduates. Our continuing commitment to excellence in all we do at Hong Kong U is clearly set out in our undergraduate prospectus. And you'll see uh, the statement from the prospectus on the screen. I won't read it out. I just want to emphasize we seek not only to educate good lawyers, but also leaders who have a passion to serve whatever path they may eventually choose. Hong Kong U Law has excellent physical resources. Uh, you'll see the images from this building we are presently in. We have within our centre uh, all the facilities a modern law school could require. And it's located in a beautiful open part of the campus. Hong Kong U Law has excellent international standing. I've set out on the screen here latest rankings for our law school amongst the world from two separate ranking systems, including the 2024 Times Higher Education ranking, which came out just a day or two ago. We have consistently ranked amongst the top 30 law schools in the world and second in Asia. And if you remember that the law schools in the US, some of which are referred to on these rankings, uh, law is a postgraduate degree. Uh, if we strip those out, then we rank even higher uh, amongst the world law schools offering law as an undergraduate education. Perhaps you are wondering about studying law overseas. Let me remind you, and perhaps also your parents, some of you who are here today, of the many good reasons for choosing to study at Hong Kong U Law instead of overseas. Most obviously, if you plan to be a lawyer in Hong Kong in the future, then you should immerse yourself in Hong Kong law and be well versed in the day-to-day -day understanding of the law as practiced in Hong Kong. While at Hong Kong U Law, you will of course complete all the necessary requirements to proceed to the Professional Certificate course, which we call the Postgraduate Certificate in Laws, our PCLL, uh, this being the gateway to the legal profession in Hong Kong. If you choose to study law overseas, uh, you will not have immediate access to the PCLL program. You will still have to complete conversion exams, even after your full set of legal studies overseas, to be eligible for the PCLL. Cost. Let's be realistic. If for Hong Kong residents, studying at Hong Kong U Law will cost you a great deal less than studying law overseas. Some of you will be fortunate enough to have family backgrounds that enable you to consider studying overseas, but the figures on the uh, slide uh, remind you that there is a great expense in taking that route. So please, cost is an important factor for many I know. Students at Hong Kong U Law are educated in the common law legal system. 
so you will become part of the common law family, which includes England, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, amongst others. And this distinguishes it from the law that is offered, for example, across the border in the mainland, where it originates in what we call a civil law system. You will also study areas of law which are central to Hong Kong's role as an international financial and services centre. Chinese law. Your study will of course include the study of mainland law which lies at the heart of Hong Kong's future. Our LLB programmes all include a compulsory introductory course on Chinese law, but you can also take many elective courses which will deepen and widen your understanding of Chinese law. And for some of you, you will have opportunities to take these courses in Shanghai. Networking. Ultimately, law and the legal profession is built on trust. If you graduate from Hong Kong New Law, you will do so with an extensive network of classmates and mentors who you have met during the course of your studies and join a body of alumni, all of whom are extremely proud of their connection to Hong Kong New Law and all of whom seek to support each other in their future legal career. Ultimately, it means you will be able to trust and rely on these people in your future career as a lawyer. Perhaps you are considering one of the other two law schools in Hong Kong. Well, I give you some figures on the screen here, which we suggest uh, would indicate to you that both on, on all levels, experience, expertise, and diversity, we excel compared to the other two law schools. The next four slides just remind us of some of the additional features uh, of studying at Hong Kong U Law. You will have an extensive alumni network, and some of the connections are identified on this slide. We have many law graduates from Hong Kong U on our staff to indicate the continuity from uh, studying at Hong Kong U law and then graduating, returning ultimately after postgraduate study to teach. So these are staff members who have long and deep connections with the uh, Hong Kong U law itself. The next two slides just remind you that many of our staff and faculty have received a range of honours and awards across a spectrum of activities. Because of these connections we have uh, overseas as well, uh, we are able to offer students during the course of their studies an extensive range of visiting honorary professors to help ensure that you are exposed to the study of law at its highest level across the uh, globe and not just Hong Kong teachers themselves. Our programs include a host of other features designed to offer you as a student the very best study opportunities. This includes our clinical legal education program which is dedicated space on campus and provides students with an opportunity to engage in various ways with real cases during the course of your studies. We also offer several pathway programs to Masters of Law degrees with overseas universities so that you will combine your LLB undergraduate studies and your Masters studies and graduate with both at the end of these programs. This includes pathway programs with UNSW, uh, in Sydney, uh, in Australia, uh, KCL in London, in the UK, NUS in Singapore, and UBC in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, you'll also see we have double degree programs with a number of other overseas partners which are noted on the screen here, engaging or allowing you to access masters or postgraduate programs in various locations. Another feature we can offer you are multiple pathways to exchange opportunities at a wide range of overseas universities. You'll see a list of some of the places where students can choose to go, uh, and they often do go for either a semester or a full year, depending on when you apply and how your academic standing may be. We've had students go all around the world to the obvious places like uh, the UK, uh, but also you'll see slightly more different places such as Israel. Uh, perhaps your parents would not welcome you going there uh, this year. At the same time, we welcome incoming exchange students 
whom you will have an opportunity to interact with inside and outside of class to ensure you are exposed to the very best of students uh, in legal programs from around the world. This brings me to my second question. Which program should you choose? So I'm going to go through uh, quite quickly the programs. You can get more information on the admissions website. Uh, but just quickly to overview what we offer. Uh, we offer seven programs. Uh, the first is our basic undergraduate, undergraduate degree, the LLB, which takes four years and is designed to give you maximum flexibility uh, allow you to engage in specializations and minors, including minors outside the law faculty itself. In addition, we offer two double LLB programs with overseas partners. This is with UCL and uh, Peking University, Beida, the generally regarded as the best law school in the mainland. The UCL, Hong Kong U UCL program is, uh, you'll see, a four-year program at the end of which you'll graduate with an LLB from both uh, Hong Kong uh, U and UC UCL. And this will qualify you for admission to the next stage of legal uh, education in both jurisdictions. It has quite a small intake, taking five from each institution. And I'll refer later to some of the details about accessing this program. Uh, most importantly, if you are interested in this program, you will have to specifically make that, uh, indicate that on the uh, application form so that we are aware of that and can uh, process you on that basis. The Hong Kong U Peking U LLB program is two degrees, but in this case in five years. Each student will spend two and a half years at each university, some beginning at Hong Kong U, others at Peking U, and then swapping halfway through their five years. Again, it's a relatively small intake. It will expose you to the common law and civil law jurisdictions. Again, it will provide you with all you need for access to legal profession in both jurisdictions, uh, but it will, of course, require you to have uh, competency in Putonghua and Mandarin to be able to survive your Peking U experience. In addition to those three programs, we have four uh, other uh, double degree or integrated degree programs with other faculties here at Hong Kong U. Each of these is, involves the award of two degrees over five years. So one extra year on top of the LLB and you can get a second degree. The first is offered with uh, the Faculty of Arts, the Bachelor of Arts and LLB. And this is offered particularly for those students who have a love of literature but Unfortunately, mum and dad don't think that is a particularly good career. Uh, so you can do that and LLB at the same time uh, and uh, graduate with a wider array of opportunities available to you. This uh, is designed to acknowledge in part the recognition that uh, both arts and uh, law uh, have a strong reliance and connection to uh, communication in various forms and therefore understanding each and studying each provides a, a relationship, a synergistic relationship between both. Our second uh, integrated double degree program uh, is with the business school here at Hong Kong U, the BBA Law and LLB. This offers you a program which gives you exposure to both law and business life. It allows you to pursue a major in accountancy or in business. If you're interested in this program, uh, you'll need to uh, look at the website of the business school because they are responsible primarily for admissions to this program. The third of our integrated double degree programs is with the Faculty of Social Sciences, uh, Bachelor of Social Science, Government and Laws and LLB. And this was designed for students who perhaps have a uh, perspective which in would like, under which they would like to study law, but also uh, understand that law operates within a political and a power environment, uh, potentially leading to careers, for example, in the government in Hong Kong. Again, if you want to uh, find out more about this program, then you should look at the website of the Faculty of Social Sciences, as well as the information on our own admission website. Our fourth integrated double degree program uh, is a new 
programme, well, it's relatively new. It was offered for the first time three years ago with the Faculty of Sciences, and this is the Bachelor of Science in LLB. And this was designed to recognise that some students uh, pursue science subjects at school, love their science subjects, uh, but also want to pursue an LLB. So this gives you the chance to uh, pursue your interest in whatever science area uh, you wish, along with the LLB studies at Hong Kong U. It's also designed to recognise that there are strong connections between law and various areas of science, uh, entrepreneurial, technological developments, and therefore to provide a platform for a student who perhaps sees a, a future uh, where they want to engage in law practice but do so in areas which connect strong, strongly with the uh, technological and science community. We also have a number of postgraduate curricula. I've mentioned already the PCLL, the One Year Professional Qualification, which is the gateway to the legal profession, which we offer at Hong Kong U. If you already have a degree other than in law, you are not qualified to take out LLB or LLB integrated programs. Uh, for you, you have to do the Juris Doctor, the JD, and this follows the American format. It differs from the LLB in that it's postgraduate, it's two years, it's very intensive, so you'll study during summer as well as the normal semesters, and at the end of it you will again be fully qualified to take the PCLL if that is your preferred uh, career step following that. We offer a range of TPG programs uh, in full-time or part-time mode, and then ultimately uh, research postgraduate degrees. If you are perhaps a student who has a very strong academic orientation and perhaps see your future as being uh, within the university environment rather than within the legal community itself. Let's turn now to my third key question, the application process. First, what sort of undergraduate students is Hong Kong U Law interested in? On the screen we've identified some of the key requirements. Good communication, good intellectual, good analytical skills. We seek uh, students who have uh, both English language proficiency and strong intellectual ability. And these are all uh, the mainstays of all the students who enter into the law school. But more than this, we are looking for applicants with a sense of justice, who value integrity, and who understand that lawyers in Hong Kong have a deep and abiding responsibility for maintaining the legal profession and the rule of law in Hong Kong itself. If this sounds like you, then you are our sort of applicant. But I also have to be realistic. Admission to our undergraduate programs is very competitive. Uh, your reality is that you will need very good academics to compete with others, whether you're applying as a DUPAS or a non-DUPAS applicant. We will interview non-DUPAS applicants once we identify them as potential uh, students for our body. Uh, sorry, let me start there. Uh, we will interview non-DUPAS applicants in most instances and also some DUPAS applicants so we can meet you and give you the chance to speak to us and to show us a bit more about you as a potential law student at Hong Kong U Law. In interviews, we look for the things we've already indicated. Good communication, good listening skills, good language skills. But we also look for creativity, for confidence, for leadership skills, and for individuals who are well motivated. Because law school is hard, and you need to be dedicated to benefit from all that Hong Kong U law expects of you and has to offer you. For some students, money may be the motivation, and that's well and good. For others, perhaps uh, uh, helping do justice to those that are uh, less well-off in the world. Some of those students, after a couple of years in law school, realise it's really the money they're after. But what is not a good motivation, or not a good reason to come to law school, is simply because mum and dad want you to do it. Law school is hard. You really have to be very self-motivated and want to be here, and that's the sort of student we're looking for. When you fill in an application form to study at Hong Kong U, you're given a number of choices of the degree programs available to you which you're interested in. As a rule of thumb, if you wish to be considered for admission to our LLB, 
or other double degree law programs, you need to make that program, such as our LLB program, your first choice. So it really needs to be in band A and ideally in first choice in band A. DUPIS applicants constitute the greater percentage of our admissions. This past year, they consisted uh, comprised nearly 70% of the intake, with a 30% balance being non-DUPIS students. But our usual intake is more 55, 45 or 60, 40 split. And we would expect that to be true again this coming year, 60% DUPIS, 40% non-DUPIS. The an, a DUPIS applicant will need to achieve the minimum grade set out both on the uh, Hong Kong U admissions uh, website and also the uh, Faculty of Law's website. But the reality is those are minimums and you have to have a much higher overall score as we'll see when we get to the next slide. For non-DUPIS applicants I've indicated here the general level that we would require for applicants who are likely to be interviewed, shortlisted, interviewed, and if successfully perform, performing during the interview, uh, receive a conditional offer from us. For GCA A-level students, uh, you will need, apart from English and Chinese, three A-star and one A, with four uh, A-level subjects. If you're only taking three A-level subjects, then two A-star, one uh, A would be the standard we would expect of you. If you're one of the IB applicants, you'll see the, the thresholds we set uh, are 37 out of 42, so that's excluding the uh, additional bonus points, or if you do include the bonus points, 40 out of 45 for admission. And that's for the LLB. If you are applying to the other integrated program, which is uh, admission to which is controlled by the law faculty, the BA and LLB, the standard for admission is slightly higher. Other double degree programs also have variable standards and you'll need to check with the other faculties uh, what their standards are for admission to their particular double de degree program with the Faculty of Law. This slide gives you an indication of the uh, average DUPAS Hong Kong DSE results for the immediate past group of admissions. Now it's slightly uh, distorted by the fact that the Hong Kong U calculates or gives credit or gives points for your DSE results not simply on a, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, basis for five and five star and five double star but rather uh, for five it gives you 5.5 for six it gives you seven and for uh, five double star it gives you 8.5 so this is an indication uh, roughly of the standard that our average student reached the minimum standard for LLB uh, for the best six subjects is lower than 35.376 which is set out there is roughly in the range of 33. Now the formula that we have continued to adopt for the LLB and for the BN LLB uh, is six subjects. We understand that this year for the first time uh, the long-standing additional course compulsory course liberal studies is not now available. We have substituted liberal studies by requiring a third elective. However, in order to help students uh, to reach or to uh, satisfy six subjects, we will include M1 and M2 as a full elective. In the past we didn't do so. So you can do English, Chinese, maths, two electives in M1 or M2 to satisfy your six subjects. And also if we have a student who's five subjects Perhaps you're only taking five subjects in the normal category. Uh, in addition, uh, we will, for a student who has included a category C language in their six subjects, look at your remaining five or the other five subjects. And if you are close to our minimum threshold, which is 33 for law, 36 for BNLOB, then we will take into account the additional score you get for your language subject. Uh, this is an attempt on our part to 
acknowledge that in some instances students have not been able to perhaps take six uh, category A electives, their school may not have offered them that choice. So we're doing our best to try to identify students who uh, come close to our best six subjects uh, based on three category A electives and include them in our eventual ranking list. If you've only done five subjects and you don't have M1 or M2 as an extension, you don't have uh, a language as a, a sixth subject, uh, but you still satisfy our minimum threshold, which would make you a real star performer, we of course will do our level best to extend an offer to you as well uh, as a DuPass HKDSC student in the eventual ranking exercise. This uh, remaining slides uh, just give you additional details on our two programs with UCL, the double degree in law uh, in f with UCL and with Peking University. So you have additional details that are set out here. As I said, the first of these, the Hong Kong U UCL degree, uh, involves four years uh, during which you will spend the first two at UCL and the last two at Hong Kong U. Uh, there'll be an intake from each side from Hong Kong U and from UCL of five rough, roughly. Tuition fees are paid to the respective host institutions so it's not quite as expensive as studying for three years at UCL but it still has that additional expense. You will, upon graduating to the uh, or completing the course requirements for both programs, obtain an LLB degree from each of those two institutions and that will make you eligible for progress to the PCLL in Hong Kong and also to the uh, English uh, examination that will lead to admission in the UK. If you are interested in this program, uh, you can be either a DUPAS or a non dupas applicant uh, you will need to make this clear on the application form. There is a box to be ticked to indicate that you are a UCL, uh, you're interested in the Hong Kong U UCL program. You will see that you can apply for this program through Hong Kong U or through uh, UCAS, uh, but you cannot apply for both. If you try to apply for both, you will be kicked out of the system. All right or as we say here, you will be a result in your disqualification. If you apply via the UCAS route, then you will have to do the LNAT. That is an additional online test that is to be conducted. You can do that in Hong Kong. It's waived if you apply through Hong Kong U. If you're considering applying through UCAS, then you better check the uh, details of that course to ensure you make a booking in time to be able to uh, take the test before the closing of the UCAS date. You'll see we have no special code for this uh, Hong Kong U UCL program so your code will be uh, the 6406 uh, code as one of your band aid choices by DUPAS if that's the code or uh, the non dupas application likewise. This gives you some additional details. The deadlines, 15th November for first round evaluation for non dupas applicants, 6th of December this year for dupas applicants, uh, and then you'll see an additional date by the end of January next year uh, for completing your online application to this program. This will involve then a separate admissions process or a separate uh, uh, set of teachers who are involved in assessing applicants for this program. They will shortlist and they will interview in a separate interview process to that which is conducted uh, by us in the normal way for non dupas applicants during January, February, March and April and also uh, later in the year for dupas applicants. If you have further queries then look for the inf click on the links and look for the additional information on the website. Lastly, we have some information about the Hong Kong U Peking U dual degree. I've already indicated this is a five-year program, two and a half years at Hong Kong U if you start here, two and a half years at Peking U if you start there, and then you swap halfway through. Again, only a small number of applicants, some eight places. You pay tuition fees at the respective host institutions, and as I've indicated, you will obtain a full law degree, uh, a qualifying law degree for profession in both 
jurisdictions. Again, you apply via the usual DUPAS or non-DUPAS application system, uh, and this is for students who are not applying on the strength of Gaokao. If they are applying on that route, then they must apply through a separate admission process, as indicated here. Again, for additional information, you can look on the website, click on the link that is available on this slide or on the website for additional information. We have a lot of additional notes about the program on this in the next slide. Uh, it does, of course, have uh, additional special requirements, such as you have to hold a, main, a valid mainland travel permit for Hong Kong Macau residents. Uh, you'll see those details set out more fully. I won't go through them here and take up the additional time. The key deadline you'll see for this is 31st of January 2024 next uh, in the near future. Finally, other important dates just generally to remind you uh, the deadline for first round non dupus evaluation. So if you want to be considered, you need to have got your application in by 15th of November, uh, which, is now, which is now only a short time away. Uh, the 6th of December is the deadline for uh, submission of your dupus application and then non dupus interviews will begin late December or early January 2024. We will try to conduct as many of these as possible face to face. We do so in small groups of three or four students. You'll be set some sort of legal problem for you to have to discuss it in a group and there will be two teachers uh, from the law school who will sit and listen and ask questions and uh, provide uh, an overview of you as a prospective student in our tutorials. Uh, that process will continue through late March, early April. Uh, again, over the Easter period, we'll try to arrange interviews to suit the uh, travel arrangements of students. The closing date for non dupus applicants, subject to the availability of places by that time, is as late as 22nd of August 2024. So those are the, some of the important dates just to, to be aware of, particularly the early ones. So thank you for listening. I hope I've been instructive today and helpful. Uh, do look on the website if you need additional information. We look forward to welcoming, welcoming some of you in September uh, 2024.